Okay, time is 4 p.m. and the floor plan and zoning commission will come to order. Roll call. Danny Wiley. Present. Charlie Ramirez. Present. Jonathan Larga. Rafael Munguia. Present. Andy Castro. Present. Ruben Luna. Present. Romeo Cantu. Present. Mercedes Guillen. Javier Gutierrez. Present. We have a quorum. Excuse for the absentees. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to excuse the absentees. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. <coughs> Approval of the minutes of June 2024, 2024. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. A second. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Motion carries. Good afternoon, Joanna Villarreal, Planner One with the City of Far. And today I have three items for your consideration. Imperium Event Center, LLC, owner, has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a conditional use permit and late hours permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C. The property is legally described as being Lot 1 of La Quinta subdivision replat of lots 52 through 55, in addition to the city of Far, Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is physically located at 5952 South Cage Boulevard. The property is currently zoned General Business District C. The surrounding area is zoned General Business District C to the north, east, and south, and single family residential district R1 to the west. The area is generally designated for commercial use, in the land use plan. Police, fire department, code compliance, health and development services are recommending approval of the conditional use permit. Office hours will be from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and by appointment on weekends. Event center will be by appointment scheduled in advance from 6 p.m. to 12 or 2 a.m. 35 surrounding property owners were notified of the request by letter on June 28, 2024, and a legal notice was published in the Advance News Journal on June 26, 2024. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development Services is recommending approval of the condition to use permit and eight hours permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C, subject to the applicant and site being in compliance with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item is scheduled to go before the city commission meeting of Monday, July 15th, 2024 at 4 p.m. We do not have representation. This item requires a public hearing. Is there anybody from the affected area signed up to speak on this item? No one signed up, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we close the public hearing and open up the item to board discussion. Um, um, how many uh, uh, applicants can fit in there? Applicants? Um, it's um, just applicants. How many people can fit in there? In this location, sir, we do have, um, <coughs> let me see. If it's in the uh, in the packet, in the application. The capacity is? Yes, yeah, sir, the occupancy is uh, set by your fire department. Oh, okay. And they will be in compliance with the, the occupancy requirements. It's only inside, not outside. Correct. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? None. Okay, we'll close the board discussion. I'll put up the floor for a motion. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Second item Double D's Nightlife Holdings LLC doing business as El Toxico Drive Thru has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a condition to use permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C. The property is legally described as being all of lot 184, Valle de la Primavera subdivision, in addition to the city of Far, Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is physically located at 6911 South Jackson Road. The property and properties to the north and south are currently zoned General Business District C. The adjacent zoning is single family residential district R1 to the east. The city limits lie to the west. 
The area is generally designated for commercial use in the land use plan. Police, fire, and development services recommend approval. An inspection was conducted um, for code and health and its pending reinspection. 34 surrounding property owners were notified of the request by letter on June 28, 2024, and a legal notice was published in the Advance News Journal on June 26, 2024. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development Services is recommending approval of the condition use permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C. Subject to the applicant and site being in compliance with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item is scheduled to go before the city commission meeting of Monday, July 15th, 2024 at 4 p.m. And we do have representation in the audience. Does the applicant have any comments? Any comments? Any comments? This item requires a public hearing. Is anybody from the affected area signed up to speak on it? No one signed up, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we close the public hearing, open up the item for board discussion. No discussion? Okay, we'll close the board discussion. Open up the floor for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion for approval. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Third item, 7-Eleven Inc. doing business as, I'm sorry, 7-Eleven Convenience Stores and Stripe Stores has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a condition use permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C. <coughs> the property is legally described as being all of Lot A, Cordova Estates, in addition to the City of Far, Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is physically located at 1510 West Military Highway. The property is currently zoned General Business District C. The property to the north is zoned Limited Industrial District LI, Heavy Commercial District HC to the south, and Agri Agricultural and op Open Space District AO to the east. The city limits lie to the west. The area is generally designated for commercial in the land use plan. Police, fire, code, health, and development services recommend approval of the conditional use permit Five surrounding property owners were notified of the request by letter on June 28, 2024, and a legal notice was published in the Advance News Journal on June 26, 2024. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development Services is recommending approval of the condition to use permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C, subject to the applicant and site being in compliance with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item is scheduled to go before the city commission meeting of Monday, July 15th, 2024 at 4 p.m. And for the record, we do not have representation. And this item requires a public hearing. Is there anybody from the affected area signed up to speak on this item? No one signed up, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we'll close the public hearing and open up the item for board discussion. Discussion? Okay, we'll close the board discussion. Open up the floor for motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good afternoon, Commissioners. For the record, my name is Eduardo Martinez, <coughs> Planner, <coughs> excuse me, Planner 3 for City of Far. Uh, today we have uh, two items for your recommendation. <coughs> Item number one, Applicant Urban Infrastructure Group representing Danny C. Smith, owner is, requ is requesting final plan approval of the proposed Matt's Cash and Carry uh, subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 7.882 acre tract of land out of lots 163, Kelly Far Subdivision, Far Eagle County, Texas. The property is located within the, within the 400 block of East Interstate 2 North. <coughs> Excuse me. The property is currently zoned General Business District C, Heavy Commercial District, District HC, and Residential Multifamily High Density District, RMF HD, 
the adjacent zones are General Business District C to the north and east, Single Family Residential District R1, Agricultural and, and, and or Open Space District AO, and General Business District C to the south, and Heavy Commercial District HC, and Single Family Residential District R1 to the west. The property is designated for commercial use in the land use plan. Property proposed use, uh, whole, uh, wholesale retail, variances, non requested. Development services recommends final uh, plot approval. That will be proposed uh, mass cash and carry subdivision subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the City Commission meeting of July 15th, 2024, at 4 p.m. Okay, this item does not require public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the item of board discussion. No questions, no comments. Okay, we'll close the board discussion, open up the floor for a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, okay all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Okay, uh, next item, applicant Barrera Infrastructure Group. Inc. Uh, representing Clemente Ponce, member of Next Gen Investments LLC, a Texas limited liability company, is, re is requesting final plat approval of the proposed uh, Next Gen subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 2.235 acre gross situated in Elo County and also being a part or portion of lot 237 Kelly Far subdivision, Far Elo County, Texas. The property is located within the 2700 block of South Cage Boulevard. The property is currently zoned, <coughs> excuse me, plan unit development, uh, a district PUD. The adjacent zones are plan unit development district PUD to the north, south, and east, general business district C, general, uh, residential multifamily high density uh, district RMF HD and agricultural and or open space district AO to the west. The property is designated for commercial use in the land use plan. Property proposed use, retail, wholesale, variances, non requested. Development services recommends final flat approval of the proposed next gen subdivision subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the city commission meeting of July uh, 15, 2024 at 4pm. Okay, this item does not require a public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the item to board discussion. No discussion? Okay, we'll close the board discussion and open up the floor for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll move to approve. We'll second that. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Announcements? No announcements? Okay, only one left. Mr. Chairman, I move to adjourn. I'll second. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thanks, guys.